game was rigged from the start. So I was meant to lose. That's not that's not good. Well, we're gonna have to get even somehow. Here we go, Fallout New Vegas. Let's see where this takes us. Okay. So we're back here. Recruit a sex bot. Okay, we're on it. Pimping ain't easy, huh? Maybe if you find some decent talent, I'll start visiting the Wrangler more often. Why do you think I'm coming to you? Is the holotape ready yet? Yep, here you go. You'll need to use a terminal to upload the data to the robot. This is one odd robot. What are you talking about? He is a great robot. EDE? Do not listen to what he has to say. You are awesome. Do not let anyone else say otherwise. Upload Ralph's sex bot routine. Here we go. Accepted. Okay. Hello, Fisto. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Okay, that's why we call him Fisto. Yes, ma'am. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. <laughs> Yeah, I... Well, I guess there's a first for everything. Servos active. Operation complete. Thank you for your business. Sorry, Robot, is that all you got? I Well, I can say I finally got fisted by a robot. We get fisted by Fisto. I didn't think I would be saying that today. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. I don't know about that, dude. Thing is, Fisto is a heavy-duty piece of equipment, and they are built to last. Believe me, I have first-hand experience. I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. He's our, yeah, Fisto's already programmed to respond to your command, so you should be good. It is? It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. <laughs> like that gives us a full roster of new ass to sell. Good work. Enjoy the bonus. Oh, I think he's going to be having some fun with, um, Fisto. I feel like it's more for him, if anything. Who are you, Francine Garrett? Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. I have some hmm. work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Sure. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. James tells me you already handled Santiago by getting him to work for us. We'll just garnish his wages. How's it Rex. going? All right, but we need to talk. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? Collecting money to pay back the Garrett's, though? Whoa. Yeah. I guess the Garrett sent you after me. Look. I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. I have the speech skill. This might make me evil, but let's try it. Okay. Here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. You have found the strip north gate. Okay, so here. Here's our official way in. Or one of our official ways in. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Same with you. But unfortunately, I was hired by the Garrus to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? You know, it's tempting, but I can tell you're lying. Damn. I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. Well, okay, good thing that came in handy. I have your debts, I think so. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. 
We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. But how do I get on the strip then? See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove your worth is time, but it'll be well worth it. I've never seen this. This is new. More machine, though, than dog. Kind of sad. As long as they're a good boy, though. Hey, King. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the King. What can I do for you? Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked. And I want you to find out who did it. Word More investigations, I guess. Over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over. See if they remember anything. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets. He started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. I wonder if they're super they mutants. The worst of it. Sad to say. I have to get going. You find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. He probably said... Lieutenant Wayne. Mm -hmm. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Fuck you. You gotta be fucking kidding. I see that's where we're going with this now. Yep. The king thinks those troops have been attacking the locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. I'm guessing something bad happened. The man was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrap. Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. If you find anything else... Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten. Yeah. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Yep. King. We've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell him I'm willing to cooperate. Hang on. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Listen. I just want to help. They want to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> No, thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know an envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. There we go. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking, a little less fighting. Agreed. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. If I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, sir. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Oh, I already know what it is, but anyway, let's level up. Let's increase this. About that favor, yeah. Ask away. Can you get me in the strip? Sure can. I have a friend who has just what you're looking for. Has a shop over yonder by the east gate. Named Mick and Ralph. Just tell Ralph that I sent you, and he'll get you squared away. By the way, that sex bot is fantastic. It gave me a real fisting. If you know what I mean. King said you could hook me up with a pass. One of his boys stopped in and said you had won the king's favor. You've done right by this town and deserve a pass. Here you go. Now we should be able to enter the strip. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. 
Thank you, madam. I may proceed. There we go. Now, we can officially enter the strip. Don't walk away. Let me show you the time of your life. Alright, what do you got for me? I like what I see. But I want to have the time of my life. Why are you walking away from me? What did I do? Okay then, fine. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Look, we'll make it easy. Just give me the hat, man. Nothing else. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. What can I get you, friend? There you are. The Caffrey's taken care of. Yes! Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. What in the goddamn? Let's yep. keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Seems you need to work on your marksmanship. But I want that platinum chip, and I want it now. I can't do that, baby, and you know it. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private life. Any questions you got, I'll answer. You lose those guards, and we both go now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Yeah, I'll well, just be straight up. House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? You dropped this in Boulder City. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. What's so special about that chip? It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power. It gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. What is your scheme? Broad strokes, change in men. And you willing to kill people? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. The ruthlessness is of others is no excuse. There was a time I would have agreed with you, but this, it's too big. It affects too many people. I can't get hung up on those details. In the meantime, enjoy the high life. Room service is on me. I'll send up a bottle of the good stuff. Ta-ta. Come on. Have you seen Benny? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Do you know what the platinum chip though is for? Yes, man. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! You are actually forthcoming with that. I will give you that. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That is true. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Yeah, on Benny's part it is. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. <laughs> yeah, we got tipped off on that. Fine. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside. My neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman, basically. Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. 
I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. I guess that's. I don't want to think about that. Listen, I already got a, I already got fisted by Fisto, and that's good enough for now for a robot. But I can go back to Fisto if I need more fisted. Okay, so this is Mr. House, yeah. So I was a little surprised when we saw it there, but I'm still surprised about this. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. So what do you want me to do? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the platinum chip. What do you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Yeah, you figured he'd have more. But then again, I guess, I guess he could turn all of those robots into sex slaves, right? See you around. We'll need to point, we'll need to point, uh, Fisto that way. Hopefully we don't run into shit, right? Trouble. Where? Oh, there. Now the trouble is taken care of. I feel like they are the best companions. Veronica is a true goat. Is a true goat. And EDE is just dope. It's This game is not afraid to do things. And it just feels more dynamic of a world. You may continue, but be warned. Mark or no, we will not tolerate aggressive action by visitors in the camp. Well, don't worry, I can fight back. I've already dealt with enough of you, so... And I'll deal with more if I have to. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. Oh, sorry, you two. Should have brought something to read. Yeah, I know. Stay here. What are you looking to start, though? The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch. With you doing the punching. I'm just a frickin' errand boy. Yeah, I know I've been accepting some of these myself, but this is all I've been doing. Benny's theory, if I understood it through all the screaming, was that Mr. House has some kind of ultimate weapon down there. A gigantic robot to stomp us off the boat. Who cares? Whatever it is, House built it. So I want it destroyed. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum ship with you. My legionaries will meet you there. We finally got it! Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got our chip back. Finally. What's more interesting? Try not to smile so wide, baby. You might break your mouth. Yeah, Baldy said you'd get to decide. So which way are you leaning? Maybe we should fight it out in the arena fair and square. Yeah. You do that for me, baby? Don't tease if you don't mean it. Let me see if we can have that battle. We'll talk again when you've destroyed whatever is down in that bunker. Not before. Fine. I see you reached your destination safely. Yep. Shall we get to work? What are you the thinking? The platinum chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. This is now. No, you haven't. Nice bud. I have to decide what happens to you now. I see. And how's that going to happen? Let's fight. Machetes at 20 paces, hey? I accept your challenge. Let's do it. You're a class act, baby. 
Not to say I'm gonna make it easy for you. Okay, now I get my equipment back. But I will take that. What does the chip do exactly? Yes, so far as you've seen, all it does is change the picture on the Securitron's face screens from policemen to soldiers. But as you'll see, some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. Well, as long as it doesn't kill me. The titanium alloy housing that protects the electronic core deflects small arms and tries to the Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glassing House is deadly against soft targets at medium range. Mm -hmm. And for close range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. Nice. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. Okay. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. The M-235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the energy at significantly longer range. Oh, jeez. And a rapid-fire G-28 missile ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. Well, this is bad. <laughs> Yes, it's it's complicated. Altogether, it's sophisticated. The software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. Okay. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting. It. Yeah, but what if your what if your um to discuss. your guests get killed? Hmm. Okay, now I'm kind of in a predicament here with it. I I do want to do some of this. It's just I'm not sure what to do. There's a lot of play here, and I don't want to make a wrong decision. Or I, I don't want to feel like I'm going, I'm doing the wrong thing. I want to do something right, or at least I want to do it the way that I can approve of. So, I'm going to sit on this for a bit, and we'll see what to do from there. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I truly appreciate it, and hopefully you found some enjoyment out of it. If you can, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments below. Until next time though, stay safe and I will see you in the next one.